Google Search Console is my favorite tool built by Google, and it's one that for some reason doesn't get the recognition that I think it deserves. You see, with Google Search Console, we can better understand the search performance of our website, optimize our content, and stay on top of which pages are being indexed by Google and a few more things here and there. So let's quickly take a look at how to use Google Search Console to gain more visibility for our content. All right, let's dive in. Before we start, you're more than welcome to hit that nice and beautiful subscribe button if you wanna stay informed on when we release new videos. So have you ever wondered how your website is performing in Google's search results? Well, that's exactly where Google Search Console comes into play. It's like your website's best friend helping you understand how it's performing online. You can think of Google Search Console as your personal dashboard for all things related to your website's visibility on Google. It's a free tool provided by Google, uh, but packed with features to give you insights into how your site is seen and indexed. And so Google Search Console's main goal is to make your life easier by giving you the scoop on how your website is doing in Google Search. It dishes out valuable info like clicks, impressions, and average position ranking so you can see how your site is performing. So let me just quickly break apart some of the main key features that Search Console has to offer. We first have the performance report, and this report is like your website's report card. It shows you which search queries, which pages, and devices are bringing you traffic so that you can tell exactly what's working and what needs improvement. There's also the index coverage report, and this one, believe it or not, comes in handy because have you ever wondered, hey, is my page actually being indexed by Google? Is it being seen by search engines? Uh, you know, this report will kind of have your back because it's gonna tell you if there are any issues with your website preventing some pages from actually being indexed and seen by Google. And there's also this really cool URL inspection tool that allows you to check on any given specific page. You know, you just feed it the URL of the page that you're interested in learning more information and Google sees, well, it's gonna check if it sees and indexes the page correctly. That way you can make sure that it's getting the, you know, the attention that it deserves. And finally, we have sitemaps. Think of sitemaps as a treasure map for Google. You know, by submitting a sitemap to Google Search Console, you're showing Google where all of the good stuff on your site is hidden. Uh, you know, making sure that none of your pages get lost in, you know, in this vast online jungle. Google Search Console is like having a superpower for your website. It just gives you the tools and insights that you need to take charge of your site's visibility and make sure that it shines in Google search results. All right, let's take a look at how do we get Search Console up and running on your site. First things first, you need to verify that you're the rightful owner of your website. How do we do this? Well, don't worry because it's not as daunting as it may sound. Uh, Google does offer a few different ways of doing this. For example, you could install a small snippet of code onto your website, or you can verify that you're the owner of your domain through your domain provider. For WordPress website owners, the easiest and quickest way of getting this done is to just install the Google SiteKit plugin and then give it permission to connect to your GoDaddy account, and it will just magically and automatically detect that you are indeed in control of that domain. And that's it. And, and you know, Google Scikit is just one of those plugins that every time I'm building a new website, it's it's one plugin that I know that I always need to install because it not only, uh, you know, shows to or proves to Google Search Console that I'm in control of my domain, but it's also going to help me connect my website to my Google Analytics account and my Tag Manager account. So it's just one of those plugins that I always use and install. All right, and once you've set up and verified your website, it's time for you to just sit back and relax for a little bit because it can take a little while for Google to start collecting data and populating it into your dashboard. So don't panic if you don't see immediate results. Okay, before we wrap it up, let me just quickly break apart what some of the key metrics mean inside Google Search Console so you know what to look for. Okay, so clicks are probably the most important metric. Clicks are the number of times that users clicked on your website search results. It's like a plus is for your website. The more clicks you have, the better. Click-through rates are the percentage of users who clicked on your website search results after seeing them. It's like the magic sauce that determines how enticing your search results are. And then last but not least, we also have average position, which is where your website's search results typically rank in Google search. And of course, you wanna aim for top spots uh, to get noticed. Now, these key metrics, which can be found under the performance report, isn't just about numbers. It really is about taking action. You wanna use these insights to optimize your website's content, improve your meta tags, and fine tune your overall SEO strategy. 
To really get the most out of Google Search Console, you definitely want to be using an SEO plugin if you're building your website on WordPress. I have all-in-one SEO running on my blog and it doesn't just let me customize the meta description of my posts, but it actually does a good job of writing them for me since now it integrates with OpenAI's API. Now there's one more thing that I wanna show you and I find that this is a, you know, more of like a peculiar thing to keep in mind. There's a page inside Search Console that breaks down all of your links pointing to and from your site. Like you can see a list of top websites linking to your pages and you can also see which pages you're linking to the most. And this is just a really nifty way of keeping track of external and internal links. Okay, well, there's your Google Search Console overview. Uh, I feel like there's absolutely no reason for anyone not to be using Search Console. It's quite the powerful and free tool that every website owner can benefit from using. Anyways, I'm happy to take care of any questions you may have down in the comment section below. Useful links are in the description as usual, and I will see you soon. I truly appreciate your time. Thanks, bye.